The heart is a muscular organ, which lies in the middle of your chest. It pumps blood rich in oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the body, and passes blood without oxygen back to the lungs to absorb more oxygen. To do this effectively, your heart is divided into four compartments or chambers. There are two chambers on the left and right side of your heart. A valve lies on the exit of each chamber. The valve ensures that blood flows in one direction only. The left atrium lies above the left ventricle. The two are separated by a valve called the mitral valve. The right atrium is above the right ventricle. These two chambers are separated by the tricuspid valve. The left atrium receives blood that contains oxygen from the lungs via the pulmonary vein. This blood then passes into the left ventricle, which pumps it into the aorta. From the aorta, blood is passed to the different parts of the body. The right atrium receives blood little in oxygen from the body via the vena cava. This blood passes into the right ventricle, which pumps it into the pulmonary artery, and back to the lungs to have more oxygen added to it. The valve at the exit of the left ventricle, the aortic valve, stops blood passing back into the ventricle. The pulmonary valve at the exit of the right ventricle also stops blood flowing backwards. This flow of blood does not happen automatically. It is driven by the contraction of the heart muscle, which are triggered by electrical impulses. A pacemaker on the upper part of the right atrium, called the sinoatrial node, or SAN, sends electrical impulses across the atria, which causes them to contract. The impulses reaches the atrioventricular node or the AVN, which is between the right atrium and ventricle and passes onto the atrioventricular bundle, causing the ventricles to contract and send blood to the lungs and the rest of the body. These electrical impulses spread across the heart muscle to ensure it contracts in the correct sequence. Nerve supplying the heart changes the rate of which impulses are sent across the heart muscle to meet the needs of the body. Together, the chambers, valves, vessels and electrical impulses enables blood to be pumped around the body more effectively so you get the oxygen you need. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you.